right, so today's video, we're watching a Diamond 1 tank on console. They say it was a good day. I just hit GM on support. Let me try to do it on tank. Just to realize the harsh reality that I can't get past Diamond. And in this game, I had a DPS that would stat reset after each round. And a Mercy 1 trick that made me use 110% of my brain. I generally never tried so hard. I even found myself choking because I forgot to take a breath in the last fight. I don't know how. I don't think that I made a single mistake in this 21 minute, 37 second game. I'm just you for letting us know the exact timer. I was getting concerned. Enjoy. If there's anything that I can improve in my gameplay, let me know. I'm just going to quote this chat because I think this is a good quote to, to go into this video with. I don't think that I made a single mistake in this game. All right, editor, you know what to do. Let's get the counter going. Here we go. How many mistakes did you make? Let's find out. These are my favorite duels right here, chat. Yeah, stand still. Yes, this is correct. Little, I got, I got to pause here. If you're a D.Va player and you engage in a 1v1 like this, you have to do this. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. Yeah, the first mistake would be if you moved here. Hey, hey, wait a second. You were the first one to move. All right, mistake number one. I like the idea of going for the Ana, but like sometimes you need to recognize they're gonna peel for you. And what you need to do is you need to fly up into the high ground here to give yourself control. So what you wanna do is you actually wanna go up here. And the reason why you wanna go up here is because you can take angles and then isolate them out. There's no guarantee you win the team fight. And I do like the idea of going for the Ana, but you need to also time it correctly. So when you saw the Ana was really far away, and the distance was there, I think you go up here, take the high ground above them, force the diva up. What that does is it creates multiple angles. It gives Torb turret value. It allows your Torb to figure out what they're doing. As of right now, they don't know what they're doing and things like that. I, I think I, there was a game yesterday in Nambani where, where somebody mentioned like how we were methodically playing diva. And that's what I did. Like you like, sometimes it looks like it's a free kill, but in reality, you need to like also like just be patient for a second. You just need to be like, and that's what it is. Don't go for point here. There's no reason to go for the point because you're going to... Mistake number two, recognizing you're not going to win the point. You also need to recognize that you need to be able to hold the high grounds here early on. So some maps, like, it's in question of, like, is it worth it? But you also need to recognize where your teammates are, right? So if your teammates aren't, like, like exactly, like, right here, all of them, as you can see, your, your Torb's back there, your Mercy's kind of over at this angle with, like, the um, Widow, and they just res the Widow, like, it's... It's one of those things where you need to look at it, recognize where your team's at, and make a choice. So always scan backwards. You can see being patient in a fast pace game being hard. I can actually explain that. As you get better at the game, the game slows down a bit more. Just like in anything. When you get better at something, it starts to slow down more because you process it quicker. So like as they're in they're in diamond right now and they just hit jam on support. So like they they have a they probably can process the game fairly well, but obviously when you play a different role, it can feel a lot faster. So, yep, yep, respect the duel. <laughs> I, 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 all right, that was the play by Mercy, I'll tell you that much. Wait, 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 you have time, you have time, you have time, you have time. You have time. Nice reaction on the soldier. You have an ult time in here. Left over the cart, you can slide it to the left. Don't go high in the air with it. Reason why you want to do this is to buy time for your retake. Okay, I'll take that too. I mean, if you think it's going to work. Ooh, I actually think the Ana might have saved the Nano there. Good peel by their D.Va, by the way. Your reaction here was okay, but I actually think if you ulted that, you were in a better spot. But it looks like your team's going to hold it anyway, because you end up over ulting. Back, you gotta get out of there. You gotta get your feet in. Okay, so I need you to understand something. Once again, where where the where am I? This is one of these situations where like you don't have to use your alt there. Uh, if you're playing this map, think about this these two spots here. If you're right here and you're just, you're just face tanking them, you're gonna LOS a lot of people, and, you, and in order for your teammates to follow up, they need to push in. Do so you end up having to waste your ultimate there? You know, use the map geometry here. Go back and forth, and then like. Now you flank him for a second. They turn around. Now you go here. Now you've created space for your teammates to get picks. Do you see how all that works? Stuff like that. Yep. Overcommitting. You get out, though. You're fine. You do have the DM to get out. 
But if you get demets here, that's your fault, not your, not your. Because you wanted to be like, oh, it's my mercy, you know, I had a. You, if you said that was what you used 100, 110 percent of your brain power. Ah, oh, dude, I could. I listen. There's a part of me that wants to meme it, and it, it's, it would be an over exaggeration. But I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that one for later. Yeah, that's on you. You're, you're overextending. Why, why are you doing that? What is the point of, of being aggro like that far into them when like you don't need to do that? Look at your team comp. You have a Sombra, a Torb, Moira, a Mercy, and you're on Diva. You can make it work, but like you need to work with your comp. Your comp is more defensive. You want to work with your Torb. You want to play more defensive until it's time to go in. Don't just fly into them and, and go in by four and be like, oh, my Mercy. Because you go, oh, I had to use 110% brain power because of my Mercy. And did you add an extra one on accident? Back away. So far, so good. On this point. Wait it out. Hype for the season 12 trailer in less than an hour. I am too. Okay, so I, I want to pause here because like a lot's happening and I actually think like, here's the thing. You need to understand that you need to play around the comp. Now, is it an ideal comp you want to play? No, but like in, in a lot of ranked games, like a Moira Mercy comp is actually very common. So you need to find ways to play around it and play with that comp. If you stand still and you play like you're playing Zarya or Reinhardt, you need to understand that you're not going to be able to get the heals from your Moira as much as you think. And on top of that, they have a D.Va. So here's the, here's the problem, right? If they have a D.Va, they're going to eat the orb. You need to understand that you're not going to be able to get the full value of the heals. So a lot of what you need to do is play like you're doing there, but then get out quickly. You need to be able to go back and forth. You have mobility. You don't need to be so static on the ground. And you've flown around at times, but like in these situations, you get in D-Mech, there's on you. A lot of Overwatch is looking at what you have, and you can play whatever hero in that comp, but you have to learn how you're going to play with that support line. So in a, in a Mercy Moira comp, it's a lot of quick burst damage and getting out, not just sitting there and standing still. I do want to say, by the way, you did want to make sure you pointed out your Mercy made you have to try a lot harder. But like, your Mercy just saved you and got you in a limb. I'm, I'm going to point that out. This is an alt opportunity. Not like that, but it, I... Never mind. You know what? You got it. My mistake on that one. Great play. I got nothing. I, I, if it works, it works. I will not be... I'll not sit there and be like, oh, it's still... It works, it works. I'm just going to give it to you. I don't know how that cost me as it did, but it worked. I, I will not deny that. Good job. Yep. Got a diva pack. Exactly. I agree. Every rank does play different. Yep. Oh, I don't play diva enough. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Now, remember we've talked about position it, position it, position it. Okay, I, that's fine. You went away. I just, I just want you to stop taking as much poke damage. Remember, poke damage. How's is... the new house coming? And boring things. A thousand bits. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, new house. They started to work on it more. Like they're not building it yet. They're clearing everything. But it's. I saw it the other day, and they actually started to like, you know, get the rocks and yeah, it's it's, it's getting there. I'm I, I'm actually excited because I'm not going to be able to check it out for a few days, so I'll see. Once again, and this just comes out of what we're saying here, you're, you're just taking too much poke damage now. Like, I, you need to really understand that, like, if you want to hold card, that's fine, but you also need to just fall back. Like, use your mobility, you know, play around the map. You can always re-engage, but, like, if you're expecting to just sit there and face tank them as D.Va with the comp that you have support line-wise, it's not going to work. What are my streaming days and days off? Uh, I stream a lot. I take, like, I don't know, a couple days off, a few days off a month. I don't know. Three or four days. Sometimes last two months have been a couple extra just because um, we had the wedding and all that. Yeah, hey, you're overcommitting too much. Just stop overcommitting. Like, you mentioned, like, you wanted, like, with your comp, you had to play at 110%, but, like, right now, I'm not even seeing that happen. Um, what you're doing is you're just going in, you're face tanking, and then you're going, well, it must be my support's fault at that point. If you want to play a hero like D.Va or you want to play a hero that you want to play, one of, the, one of the things in Overwatch is also learning how to adapt to what your teammates are playing. Because you're, unless you're five stacked, you're not going to have the same 
consistency. And right now, I just don't feel like that's what you're doing. It feels like you're going, okay, you're on this comp. I'm going to play the same way I do every time, and you need to heal me the way that I expect you to heal me. And it's not going to work that way. You need to go in. You need to do some poke damage and fall back. Your supports want to heal you, but you need to also play around what they're playing at that point. They're on Mercy Moira. They will heal you. So all you need to do is a slight adjustment. It's, a, it's, like, it's like a five second difference between making a good play and making a bad play. And you're leaning towards the bad play right now. <laughs> Are we still at zero mistakes? I don't know about that, but... I don't mind you going for the high ground here. I like that. And that's good. I, I like you going for the high ground here. This is good. Yep. So far, so good. This is, this is, sometimes this is the dull part of uh, Rio at the beginning. You have to do things like this. Nice. The reaction. Remember what we've talked about. Okay, I'm okay with this. You're, you're getting away from them and you're distancing yourself from them. This is fine. Get out of there. Get out of there. There you go. Nice job. Now turn around DM. Good. Good job. I, I like that. I, I, I thought you played that fairly well. I thought you played that fairly well. And I, I want to point out to you, your, your Moira and your Mercy are within range of you, right? So because they're within range of you at this part of the map, you're getting healed. Do you see that? Now, use that on every part of the map and you're going to have a better time. I don't mind this. Try to cancel your flight a little bit sooner than that, though. Oh, you hecked up. I see what you're trying to do. It might work. It might not. Yeah. Okay, body blocking is a cool aspect of D.Va. But if you're doing it to turn around in front of their whole team to do it, it ain't worth. And that's what happened. Get out. Good flight control. Good job. Uh, Dub, thanks for the three months of the Freakish Prize. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you. Nothing you do about that. I'm not, I'm not even worried about that. A little bit standstilly, but at the same time, they're playing close, so you kind of are forced to play into that. Remember, they have a baby diva now, so minimize the damage you're taking. Yes, good play, good play here on Soldier. Nice job. Excellent decision. Good job. You know that Mercy wants to res that. Yeah, you're not, yeah. Good, good, good decision there, by the way. This one's a little bit different, and I'll explain why. I want to see what happens. There's just something about someone with the name OW Hater while also playing Overwatch. Is that, is that like supposed to be like the, what they're... Yeah, I really, I really hate this game. It's, oh, let me log on and play Smash. It really pisses me off. Anyway, I make this mistake sometimes too. When they Valk with Mercy, try not to really overextend to get a kill because a Valked Mercy can generally keep somebody alive um, during that, that ability. Like, it seems good on paper. Whenever there's a Valked Mercy, I tend to play a bit more defensive unless my teammates are following in with me on kills. Does that make sense? I, I like the idea of you going for the Ash if it was under different circumstances. So like, let's say that they're not Valked here. I actually like this play, but with Valk, it's just like, they can get back to them so quickly to heal them that what ends up happening is you go for the Ash, then someone else is there, and then you, you're just dead. If that gets Mercy, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, I was gonna say. This is gonna get Mercy. No, it's not. Okay, they're, they're Diva got d -Mac. Hey, good play. Yes, 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 yes. Right there. That, that, that's what I was talking about. That was the correct play. Nice job. That's what I'm talking about. You went back to your teammates. You got healed up. Your teammates are trying to heal you. You get the team fight won, and now you're in your mech. Look at that. Boom. Just like that. Uh, do I anything to the 14 months of the Preacher Prime? So thank you. Appreciate it. Nice job. Excellent. That's all I'm trying to get you to do. That's it. That's all you need to do with that comp. Actually, 
You know, it's very interesting because I want to pause for a second. You said you just hit GM on support, right? Which, first of all, congrats on that. That's awesome. Second of all, it's very interesting because you know, like, the strength of support lines being a GM support player. So I was very surprised to see you not, like, kind of peel back and recognize it. But at the same time, it's like, I play DPS and it's my worst role and I make mistakes on DPS that I'll probably know, like, I'll push in front of a D.Va and get rolled by a D.Va. And I know that, like, if I was D.Va, I'd be a free kill. Like, so, like, I get it. I was just, I, I just, I just couldn't remember that point. So. Widow to your right. You heard the Widow. Oh, well, your mechanics are good. Just so you know. I, I, I have no problem with your mechanics. I think I know what happened right there. I I I, I want to. I'm gonna watch that back in a second, but I'll I'll tell you what happened, chat. Good map control. Yo, good target focus. Nice job. What rank is it? They're in diamond. Uh, I'm gonna go back one second. I want to see your default here. No, never mind. I thought what happened is that, like, you didn't have your booster up. So I've had a couple times where, like, my booster's, like, on a tenth of a second cooldown, and I go to throw my ultimate, and I just drop it on the floor. I think what you should have done here is slide it. And don't even have to slide it aggressively. Uh, you can practice this in the training range with D.Va. You can slide into the ground, and it kind of slows it down. And what would happen is it would slow down and land about right here, and they have no escape at that point. Only escape is up here, but, like, who can on their team can get there? Maybe two of them? So that's how you get kills. At the very worst, they push in. You back up here, your teammates have you covered, you're good to go. So, you know what I'm saying? Yesterday, I told you to stop pooping yourself and your life has changed. I'm glad we can both help in-game and out of game. Thank you for that. Somebody just said on YouTube. I, that's really what they just said. Trailer season 12. Reset, get out. You know. Oh. Mechanically, you're fine, by the way. I'm not worried about your mechanics. See, <laughs> that's solid advice. Don't overextend here. Don't do no, 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 no. Maybe it works, but I, I, I know what you're going for. I just want, I want you to give you time for your team. No, you're fine now. Diva stayed there. Okay, I want to show you something. Are you ready for this? Now, you're watching that Diva and you're going, what are you doing? That was you on the other half. So that, that should give you kind of perspective of how you're playing. You see what that D.Va did? That was you the whole time on third last time. That's what you were doing, and that's what I was trying to get you to stop doing. I'm gonna give you some advice on this, and I think it's I think it's gonna also help. Just slow things down, slow things down just a little bit. You're going really fast right now. And while like you know, if you watch me play Diva, I'll play really fast, but there's a lot of reasons as to why I'm playing fast. You can still slow down and play really quick. You're just kinda like going in and just forcing like the issue. And I, I think at times you can just like right here. You that play right there by you was a perfect example of that. You see how like you're playing fast, but you slowed down? I hope that, like, I'm making sense with that one. You can play really quickly, but you can also just, like, for a second, just just chill for a second, and then you go back in. No. Nice job in the Widow. I've been there before, so maybe you just lose with the Widow's at. Good follow-up. You have DM for this. Okay, that's on you. That's on you. That's on you. Okay, okay. Okay, so you see the... What the... F okay, well, first of all, the first step is to be in the map, all right? Okay, so what is the problem that's happening here, chat? What did the D.Va do wrong here? There's two things they did wrong. Unless you're going to be right in front, like right directly in front of the soldier, which you can't be right now, aim your DM like this. Why are you going to aim your DM like this, chat? Because this will take care of that whole area that they're, 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 they're shooting at. Right? And to give you an idea and perspective, do you see this, like, this green-like thing here? This is your defense matrix. So you want to aim it this way, so that way they don't get the value on that. You can even angle it a little bit up if you want to, just to kind of guarantee it. But that's how you want to do it. If you do this, look what happens. The soldier finds a pick because of that. See? 
So just a slight adjustment. Just aim it to the right and angle it. I see a lot of players do this. If you're in front of the soldier, it's a different story. But even then, I've had times where I get in front of a soldier and my DM's like covering 98% of them and they get they, they like manage to hit somebody low HP and kill them. So just see, just like that. Just, just angle it this way, towards this way. That's it. Now you're fine. If the car wasn't there, should it be on the soldier? I mean, it, it could be, but like even then, I think it's a little bit risky at times. Because like, it's it's just, you also have like server lag at that po point too. So like, there's a chance that like, if you go past them and then like you do this and that, it might still kind of heck up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's a really safe play just to put your D.Va ult at an angle. Good, good play there though. I, I felt like you played a much better uh, D.Va towards the second half of this game. I feel like on defense, you made a lot of mistakes not recognizing what your support line was. They've switched their comp to Kiriko Lucio. They have a good comp now. I like their comp. I mean, it would have been better without a break, but it's, oh, get soldier. You kill that soldier right now. Nice job. Now wait. Yep, dive Winston. Kill up Winston. Break bubble. Nice, good job. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get... Nice. Good job. All all well played. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Okay, you made you made a slight mistake here, and I do this sometimes too. If they go to the point there for just a half a second, kill like kill the people in front of you for a second. Ooh, overextension. Ah, it's on you. You got the kills though, so I'm I'm gonna still give you credit on the kills, but I knew right away the overextension. I still I still think you can get some of the kills without that, but it's okay. Nice. And keep in mind, I, I'm you know I'm being a little bit more aggressive on some of the some of the feedback there, just because you said you made zero mistakes. But I also think that can help you get better. It, it just recognizes things. It worked out though, right? It did work out, so that that's what matters the most. At the end of the season, there's usually people who will go make up like patch notes and just post them to like TikTok or something. It happens every season where somebody's like, "Oh, dude, you hear the deleting Reaper?" And I'm like, "They're not deleting Reaper. Oh, I saw it on a TikTok." I'm like, "Okay, I'm, I at this point, I you, you all right." Yeah, trailer's in about 30 minutes. 35 minutes technically because they put a five minute timer on. Unless they change that strategy, we'll see. <sighs> this is a tough one, because I feel like you played that okay, I just feel like they hit good shots. You say in the Ryan video where he spins the fly isn't real? No, that's real. Mercy, you gotta stop the res. You have to stop the res. Nice! Excellent play by you. Mm, this might be a draw. Ah, I get it! Yes! There's a chance! Nice! They're gonna have Diva ult though. Play positioning. Moira! Oh no! That's probably it. Damn. Well, it was a draw. So you didn't lose, right? I get, you didn't lose, so that's nice. Yeah, so the only thing I'll really, like, say to you here is, like, I don't think you, in, like, you really, you played bad. Like, you said you made zero mistakes. I disagree. I think there was plenty of mistakes that you can work on. But I think your number one issue, and, and I think you, you'll be able to figure this out very quickly because you are a support player also in GM. Look at your support line. Recognize the strengths of your supports, recognize the weaknesses, and play play around that way. Stop overextending too much to get kills. It's okay to go in, do a bunch of damage, and back away. You don't need to finish every limb. I feel like you got demacked a little bit too much. I, I think you need to just slow your gameplay down just a little bit. It's okay to, like, get a bit of map control and then just stop for a second and then go again. Mechanically, I have zero issues with your mechanics. I think your mechanics... Um, are great. I don't really have too many issues. Obviously, you have a couple moments here and there. We all do. Anywhere, all the way till rank one. And everybody has mechanical moments where it's not perfect. You were so worried about, like, what your support line was that you didn't play to the strengths of your support line. You played to the frustration of what you think your support line is going to, like... You, you You basically... I kind of... You kind of outplayed yourself is basically what I'm saying. So, as a quick summary here, if you have the support line, you can hold cart, just back up. Learn to back up into him, get healed, go back in. I'm telling you right now, there was many moments where you could have went back in and got three really good limbs if you just got healed for a second. But not because your supports weren't healing you, because you weren't playing the way that you needed to play with that support line. That's it.
Everything else I was, I was, I was pretty happy with. Outside of your overextension, but that comes with time. You got this. You can easily climb. You got this. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to all three YouTubes if you haven't. Leave a comment. All of that helps. If you want to submit your own spectating, description below. My Discord, right there. Join it. That's where you do that. We also record these live on stream. You can see the Twitch chat below the webcam. We're also live on YouTube, sometimes TikTok, so stop by. We have a lot of fun here. With that being said, I hope you all have an amazing day slash night.